Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And I just had to come on to let everyone know about Joe Biden's 24-minute speech. And as you can see here from the Washington Examiner, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox local channels have all chosen not to air Joe Biden's address tonight, or address. Here in Washington, they're either airing normal programming or college football. If you want to see what he has to say, Watch here. So you had, so you had to go to the Washington Examiner, of all things. What a, what a great way to channel traffic, as they tried to sell us on the idea of Republicans promoting fascism. I'll get into uh, that aspect of it too, because I think uh, that just didn't work for them. So they were using all these buzzwords. They were trying to go, you know, and Biden went with ultra MAGA, which actually made all the Republicans and Trump supporters actually look cool. And then they, and then so people tried to make ultra MAGA shirts and ultra MAGA mugs and all these things to make it really, really cool. And the Democrats tried to take credit for making ultra MAGA cool when it was intended to be derisive, which is absolutely hysterical. The Democrats are absolutely desperate. And what this speech consisted of was really more political fury and more political enemy attacks. In other words, he described uh, Republicans as MAGA Republicans while trying to assert that we're all Americans and that we needed to protect our democracy. We're all Americans. We all should be working together. Yet apparently, I guess, MAGA Republicans aren't Americans. They're, they weren't included in this. And uh, he also described how FBI agents, the armed FBI agents who have access to all of our intelligence, to most of our intelligence and threats going on, and if they are threatened, they can track these individuals down. Apparently, Armed FBI agents are in fear for their lives when it was the AG, for example, if he wants to use that, or the recent uh, raid on Mar Largo as threatening the FBI. Well, they're doing their job, and police officers and sheriff and law enforcement and people are threatened all the time, but so was Brett Kavanaugh. So were, so were the Supreme Court justices, but we didn't see any arrest. It's illegal to protest, protest outside of the home of judges and court officials, witnesses, and jury members. It's illegal to do that, but nothing happened there. What about the threat to, to those individuals? And what about the individual who tried to cause harm to Brett Kavanaugh to keep it YouTube family friendly? I, I don't see where Republicans, as he mentioned, he didn't mention them by names. He just said Republicans were calling on are calling for violence. What Republicans? Who? Could you be more specific? Could you, if they're if they're doing that, can you point them out so that we can address that and 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 maybe take care of it and maybe talk about it and see what we can do about it? I mean, the only I mean, we see plenty of threats from Antifa and Black Bloc and BLM. The Summer of Love. Remember that the months and months and months that we covered here on the channel of of all the activity, the damage they created, the vandalism, using fireworks. Uh, industrial lasers, and all these sorts of things to go after police officers and the FBI are threatened. Now, I don't think anyone should threaten FBI agents, but at least they're armed. They can protect themselves, and they have access to all sorts of intelligence to let them know, if hey, if they're being threatened, they can track those people down. And so FBI agents aren't able to defend themselves, aren't, aren't able to utilize their resources to be able to protect themselves? I mean, Joe Biden, this was just embarrassing, I guess, in a way, and he kept referring to the country as a democracy. We're not a democracy. We're a constitutional republic. He was meaning to say that we needed to protect democracy. But basically, when, when Democrats say threat to democracy, what they are trying to say is, if you don't vote for Democrats, then the country isn't going to be controlled by Democrats. And that's a threat to us, is basically what he was saying. And that's essentially what it amounted to. And yeah, I know I've got a lot of my, what may be perceived as my personal bias. I, now, I'm a staunch conservative. I'm not a Republican. I left the GOP back in 2004. I saw them behaving very much like the establishment Democrats now. I saw the Mitt Romneys. I saw the John McCains. I, I saw all of these establishment Republicans, GOP and never Trumpers, even, even Sarah Palin, who recently lost in her special election. She was a never Trumper. So... I saw the establishment working within all of these particular, within the GOP as well. So no particular surprise here. And it's just absolutely amazing to me that the Washington <laughs> Examiner is going to have to do the live stream because uh, it wasn't on regular, it wasn't on regular television. The very people who defend Joe Biden. But I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he didn't talk about domestic issues. He didn't talk about 
higher taxes. He didn't talk about student loans. He didn't talk about the border. He didn't talk about the continuing issues with shortages. He didn't talk about energy crises that we're facing. He didn't even talk about international incidents, which just recently, as of today, the Taiwanese shot down a Chinese drone. He didn't talk about Ukraine and the billions of dollars that continue to go to Ukraine. I absolutely support Ukraine, believe in their defense of their country from an aggressive Russia. Joe Biden essentially just did a basically a Democrat stump speech to rouse up the Democrats. And he had a really bizarre crowd. They were kind of like a they kind of tried to imitate a Trump rally, which was kind of embarrassing. But uh, from the Hill, the GOP leaders. In the past two years, Joe Biden has launched an assault on the soul of America, on its people, on its laws, and its most sacred values. His policies have severely wounded American souls, diminished American spirit, and betrayed Americans' trust. That's right, because he said he was going to do certain things, and these things have impacts, right? And from what we can determine, based upon what we covered here on the channel, is a lot of that is aimed towards progressives, leftism, cancel culture, and wokeness which makes up a very tiny amount of people. But you see, like certain Middle Eastern jihadists, these militants here in the United States have no problem defacing buildings, breaking windows, throwing Molotov cocktails, and all the things that we saw in the summer of love for months and months and months, particularly after the George Floyd incident. This continued on. It didn't just stop after the George Floyd incident. And then, of course, what the, 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 other, the other issues that happened after that But the idea here is that they keep saying we shouldn't divide the country, yet he specifically went after Republicans or MAGA Republicans or MAGA supporters. He didn't mention uh, January 6th specifically, but January 6th participators and, and so forth like that. But why is it always that? I mean, that's the only example they can give. They can only give one example where I can come on my channel here and give you guys hundreds of examples, show you hundreds of clips of we see BLM, Black Bloc, and these actual individuals out there disrupting and destroying and causing chaos within our community, not to mention rampant crime in many of these Democrat states. He didn't even talk about that. All he talked about was the Republicans are in the way. we got to get them out of the way. Go out and vote. Uh, and it's interesting. Look what's trending. Make America Great Again is trending. Uh, and that's it. I mean, it, the, his speech just ended, and you would think that there would be something on here trending about his speech, how wonderful it was and how amazing it was, how moving it was. It wasn't. It was, it was basically just another element of the Democrat Party attacking their political rivals, and that's exactly what it was. If you want to watch the 24-minute speech, you can, interrupted by uh, his occasional coughing. But nothing was accomplished. There's nothing feel good about what he said other than for a small maybe segment of our society might have might have been enthusiastic about it. But it was it was really it was really not all that inspiring at all. Even if you are maybe more of a of a, a left leaning individual, I don't know. I have to hear from them. But as you can see here, not, nothing here is trending. There's nothing here. Let me refresh it just in case. But there's nothing here that's actually trending in relationship to that speech. I mean, other than right here, but I mean, you would think there would be all kinds of joy and excitement and enthusiasm and democracy this and democracy that, and but there you go. And I see somebody going after uh, the, the, the comment from the Hill, the GOP here, but you would think there'd be something here relating to it, but nonetheless, guys, that's what I had for you. you go ahead and check out the 24-minute speech. Thank you guys for your continued support all across you guys, across all social media that I use here to bring you these stories. And I will see you guys in the next video.